An amazing story in Ukraine. An incredible story happening there, and Holly Williams has been there this whole time reporting for us. We begin there. The ousted president of Ukraine is now a fugitive on the run. Reports say Viktor Yanukovych was last seen in Crimea. That part of Ukraine is home to a large Russian Navy base. And now the country's acting leader is calling for closer ties to Europe and a more equal partnership with Russia. So he said Holly Williams is in Kiev, where many want the former president to be put on trial. Holly, good morning. Good morning, Charlie and Nora. Viktor Yanukovych is wanted for mass murder. That's according to Ukraine's acting interior minister, and it's in connection with the shooting of protesters during anti-government demonstrations. After Viktor Yanukovych fled Kiev on the weekend, protesters took over the presidential residence and opened it up to the public. This morning, we were given a tour of its palatial grounds. Before he was forced from power, Yanukovych enjoyed his own golf course, a luxury summer house in the garden, and even a private zoo. He obviously liked ostriches. Ivan Kundaranko is a church minister who took part in the demonstrations that forced Yanukovych out. What do you think about this place? Well, I think what our government might do, new government might do, is to turn that place into a museum on corruption and dictatorship. On Kiev's independent square, they're celebrating a victory and remembering those who died in three months of anti-government protests. The next problem for the country's revolutionaries is reforming a system that they say needs to be more democratic. They'll hold new elections in May, but Ukrainians like Natalia Dovhabol told us that right now they're not sure who's running the country. And who's in charge right now? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> I don't know. So, because so, there, 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 there are a lot of uh, these uh, small leaders, but I don't know who, who's, who's going to be in charge of the country in the, these days. We're also not sure of Viktor Yanukovych's whereabouts. It's thought he is in southern or eastern Ukraine, where he still has some support. Charlie and Nora. Holly Williams, thank you.